ever pondered over the fact that hypochondriasis, also known as health anxiety disorder, is linked to an 84% higher risk for death and a fourfold increased risk for suicide. New population-based data reveals this startling truth, suggesting the urgency for enhanced clinical screening and treatment of this disorder. So how did we come to this conclusion? A team of investigators used several Swedish population-based registers to identify individuals who received a diagnosis of hypochondriasis between January 1997 and December 2020. They managed to identify over 4,000 individuals with a median age of around 34 and a half years at diagnosis. These individuals were then age and sex matched with 10 times as many individuals without the disorder. The results were clear and alarming. Those with hypochondriasis had an 84% higher risk for all-cause mortality during the study period than those without it. This included a higher risk for both natural and unnatural death. Unnatural death, primarily suicide, was the most common cause of death, with the risk being four times higher in those with hypochondriasis. Interestingly, the majority of individuals with hypochondriasis were diagnosed with at least one additional psychiatric disorder, primarily anxiety-related and depressive disorders. This was in stark contrast to the group without hypochondriasis, where the percentage was significantly lower. To sum it up, the findings highlight a paradox. Individuals with hypochondriasis, despite their pervasive fears of illness and death, have an increased risk for death. Most of these deaths could be classified as potentially preventable. Ignoring these individuals' somatic symptoms as imaginary could have severe consequences. But it's important to note the limitations. Hypochondriasis is thought to be underdiagnosed in Sweden, with only approximately 4,000 cases registered within two decades. Additionally, the study did not obtain data from primary care, where the majority of hypochondriasis cases are diagnosed. This groundbreaking study was led by David Matix Kohls, PhD, of the Karolinska Institute, Stockholm, Sweden, and was published online on December 13, 2023 in JAMA Psychiatry. The research was funded by the Swedish Research Council for Health, Working Life and Welfare, Stockholm, the Swedish Society of Medicine, Stockholm, and Karolinska Institute, Stockholm. So, the next time someone dismisses hypochondriasis as just an imaginary illness, Remember the substantial risks associated with it and the dire need for increased clinical screening and treatment of the disorder. As we wrap up today's discussion on the urgency for screening and treatment of hypochondriasis, we'd like to remind everyone that knowledge is power. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and share this information with your friends, family, and social networks. Let's foster a community of support, understanding and empathy. It's not just about raising awareness, it's about taking action and helping each other. So let's start today together. Take care and we'll see you in the next Glee Grow Junction video.